here we are at a 200 ton injection molding machine. These are called platens. I'll step back a little bit. This is a non-moving platen. This is fixed to the machine. This is where the nozzle for the screw tip for the plastic injection molding machine comes through and it injects the molten plastic into this side of the mold. And on the other side is the moving platen. It's polished steel here and up here and over there. Or these are called tie bars and it slides back and forth. And you see the jack screw mechanism back there. It's, this is retracted all the way. And you've got all these screw holes that are threaded in the platen, and that's to put clamps on to attach both halves to the mold. Depending on the shape of the mold is where you're going to put the clamps. From time to time, they strip out the holes. So what we do is we drill them out, and we put these inserts in here to re-thread them. See over here, here's one, and it's been uh, ground down so it's flush. Right here, these are what they call uh, ejector rods. Well, these uh, go, these tie right into the ejectors in the mold, and this is what pops the plastic part out when uh, the mold opens up and uh, the robot's ready to come down and grab it. And everything for that is back there, tucked away. So the moving platen slides back and forth on this rail. There's one on either side. And this is what's called a linear bearing. There's little ball bearings inside of there. There's one in the front, one in the back. And we've got grease fittings. We have to grease them periodically. But it slides back and forth on this. And as well as on the tie bars. Here it is from the other side. You can see it a little bit better. These are water lines that come in and they get hooked up to the mold and they actually pump uh, hot and cold water into the mold to regulate the temperature to keep it even. That way one side of it or another doesn't get too hot or too cold. So it almost works like a radiator in your car. There's also electrical connections over here to plug in what they call hot runners where they'll, they'll electrically heat parts of the mold. And you can see right there, there's the nozzle at the end of the screw tip for the injection molding machine. Down here is one of the big bolts that they use. I'll have to collect that. One of the big bolts that they use that thread right in here for, to hold the clamps in place. Just a big shoulder bolt. gone over to a 610 ton machine that isn't running. I'll go ahead and show you. Here's the clamp. Here's the shoulder bolt. You can see it's just threaded into one of the holes in the moving platen. There's some more clamps as you go up. And you can see here's the water lines. Red for hot, blue for cold. They go into channels inside the mold for temperature. And let me see if I can climb up there. Here on top you can see two plugs, we call them hot runners. And those heat up zones inside the mold that's attached here on the non-moving platen. You can see on the non-moving platen the same thing. Clamps, it's got a slot, shoulder bolt, attaches right in here. both halves of the mold. When they transport it, they'll loosen up one of these screws and spin this and uh, attach it on the other side. There's another one up here and this allows them to pick it up with a crane from that eye bolt right there in one piece and then they drop it down in here and they clamp it in place and then they take the pressure off from the crane and then it's suspended on the platens. Here you can see the crane attached to the eye bolt on the top of both halves of the mold as it's being attached to the platen before running a new job. 
hopefully this explained a little bit more about the plastic ejection molding process. Thanks for watching.